Okay, now that we've seen some of the basic construction changes, let's get into adding branches, because so far we've only been working on a base cabinet. So branches allow you to answer some of the construction questions differently for a wall cabinet than you would for a base cabinet, or for a tall, or for a 90 corner, or a 45 corner. And it allows you to pick different options depending on what type of cabinet it is. So for example, if I pull a wall cabinet out of my library, You'll notice we have top stretchers on our wall cabinet, which we obviously don't want. We would want a full top. So let's look at what, what we can do to make that question different for a wall cabinet than what we already selected for our base cabinet. So it's more of a general question, so I'm going to go into the top section called Exterior and find Top, and then we'll flip through until we find the top question. Default means that's what, basically it's talking about a base cabinet. Everything will use default unless you specify it in the branches. So very important, start moving on to wall cabinets. You can't just come in here and go to top and hit OK or my base cabinets will also have a full top. So we'd want to leave default on top stretchers because there's not a branch for base cabinet. Like I said, assume that default means base and everything else that's not selected. Okay, so in this case we're adding a branch for uppers and saying full top. And while I'm in here, I'm also going to say tall cabinets get a full top. And now anything else that's not specified here will assume that it gets default or it will follow the parent category. Like upper 45 will follow upper. It's not like it will jump all the way back to default. So let's see how that does. So now we have a full top in our wall cabinet. And if we go to our base cabinet, we still have stretchers. So let's look at another example. Let's say we want to put a corner cabinet. Let's just do a 90 corner clip. Okay, so here's an example where stretchers just get a little bit weird. So let's do a full top. Now technically, we can save it on just the cabinet. You know, put an override and save it back to the library. But I like the construction method to control the cabinets with as few cabinet overrides as possible, which we're going to get into later. Um, so let's go back into room. And let's look at that same top question that we were in. So, base is following the default. Uppers and talls are full tops. I can just add another branch saying standard 90 is going to be a full top. And I would probably do standard 45, which is like a diagonal cabinet at the same time. But that's all for this example. And now, every time I pull a corner 90 out of the library, it is going to utilize this. Now, really quick, how does it know what's a corner 90 and what's a standard base and what's a wall? And we're going to get into saving items later on in, the, in this course, but just a quick tutorial. When you save an item and you go to advanced, you can choose from like the high level categories and then there's also these subcategories. So that's how a cabinet knows if it's a corner 90 or a standard or what it is. Um, and so that gets important um, when you start adding branches. Okay, now the branches can work for much more than just general questions, you know, because maybe on a tall cabinet I want my top to go all the way to the back of the cabinet. So let me just quickly make that change so you can see an example of like how things can totally connect different on a wall cabinet compared to a base cabinet. So I want to extend the top all the way to the back of the case. And again, this is more of how it connects to the back. So Let's go to connection, find top, and let's find the question for top and unfinished back. Okay, so now it says connect top to unfinished back, and you can see in the graphic it's just butting against. So I'm going to say extend to back of case, which is great. But now wait, I just changed it on default, and so if I would, if I would continue what I was doing, I'm actually messing with the base cabinets. So again, easy to easy to forget, but just that's why I always like to work on base, get it all set up, and then go to walls because then I know that everything that I'm doing needs a branch from here out. Okay, so let's put this back to how it was, and let's add a branch. And we'll say extend top to back of case. And I'm going to do it for talls at the same time. There we go. So my uppers and talls extend to the back, my base cabinets butt into the unfinished back. And now I'd ask, where does the unfinished back go to? Well, on a base cabinet, I want it to go all the way to the top. On an upper cabinet, 
it knows that the top is extending back so there's no other options. Back here, I got some options here because the top is butting into it. So the construction wizard you'll find is very smart. So let's attach the unfinished back to the bottom of the top and if I wanted to I could even put a little dado going up into that top. Um, but for now I'm just going to leave that off. So I put a branch for tall as well. And then how does your top and nailer connect? And right now it's on attach nailer top to top of top, which now that our top is going all the way to the back of the cabinet, we don't want this. So let's add another branch. And we want to put the nailer right underneath that top. And I know that these questions can get a little bit confusing, um, but I hope that as you're seeing me just make these common changes that, you know, you're gaining a little confidence that, you know, obviously one, it takes a little bit to get familiar with the way the questions are and, you know, the terminology, but it's really, you know, once you know what you want to change, it's pretty easy to find it and make those adjustments. So now we can see our top is going all the way to the back, and if we go look at our base cabinet, you can see it's still normal like we had it set up. So branches are a powerful way to kind of separate the different ways of building it. And in a future video, we're going to talk about conditions, which even give you more opportunities to branch out when certain things happen. Um, and that's an exciting part um, that most people will just copy a construction method and make duplicates with just tiny differences. But construction conditions really allow us to dig a lot deeper into that. So you can look forward to that video later on.